Hello one and hello all. How are we all doing today? Um, we are back for yet more Kubera as we are every week. Um, not that that's a surprise to any of you watching this. Um, picking up where we left off last time with episode 59. We'll probably do about 6, 7 again as we always do. Keep it you know, somewhere near an hour in length. Because that's what I like to do. Um, yeah, if you're new and me doing this every week is a surprise, hit the sub button. Uh, that'd be pretty appreciated. Like, comment, notification bell, YouTube stuff. Anyway against the good shit. Monarca's dead. I know. Oh, fuck's it. Paige, no! Oh my god, my browser's just decided no, I will not... Oh, there we are. Okay, that was resolved quickly. If she hadn't made that deal with Carly, if she hadn't taken on God Harvest since, she could have been the first Nastika soul to survive the Zeroth dimension. She told you about the deal with Carly. Wow. The penalty for telling a creature lower than Kali would have been severe. She must have decided to tell you anyway. She chose the outsider among the gods and not the Nastika she was close to. How entertaining. Entertaining? Yes. This world became nothing more than entertainment to me a long time ago. But if you're still serious, give it your best shot. It'll be faster for you to reach enlightenment a hundred times over than for that young one to realize. You can look forward to having your patience tested. Yeah. Come on, we can talk this out, right? I don't know why you're doing this, but let's talk about it! Yeah. Proven right time and time again, it would seem. I'm glad your consciousness is troubling you, at least. You. Do you know why Nastika don't have an afterlife? No, it doesn't matter. Live if only for the humans you've killed. Find something you can do for them. What are you talking about? If that happened, of course that life belongs to my daughter now. Sierra or whatever is already dead. That's Chakantala now. Chakantala came all the way to find me here. Yeah. It's all over now. Season 3, episode 59, Crossroads 7. Miss Teo, are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine. Just got knocked down. I'm glad. I think we did well to get away. We wouldn't have survived that. No one was in the temple, right? They were all evacuated to the Earth Temple during the previous attack. I saw Sierra coming in. He must have had orders from a god. That's the only explanation for him entering the Chaos Temple in the middle of the night without telling me. Ah, then the guard will have kept him safe, right? I hope so, but... Uh, yeah. Ke ke kept him safe. It's not like he is the cause of, th of the issue. If I kill God Harbor here, all the remaining possible futures may be in Kali's clutches. But he's not someone who can fight back against Kali to create the best possible future anyway. Monarca's teachings could not reform him completely, despite his lifelong, her lifelong sacrifice, and Chakantala was to carry on her task as dead. I hoped he would, act, he would accept Chakantala's death, realize something, at least, but he couldn't even do that much. I'm sorry, Monarca. My patience has run out. <coughs> You're welcome for that. How dare you! You... Stop it, Chakotala! <laughs> Too bad. It was, it was going so well. And then you had to come to your senses, Godhava. <laughs> yes, as Agni said. Your daughter went to paradise a long time ago. I'm the Taraka that killed your daughter, and you actually thought I was her. <laughs> Just wait, you two. This isn't the end. The other nodes have even stronger Taraka. <laughs> Agony. Holy shit.
Holy shit. He did the right thing. He got a grip. Weren't you going to kill me? Why did you stop? Tell me! Why did you stop? Just kill me. It doesn't matter. You didn't, don't know, but I did something that would make you really angry. Over ten times. And Chuck and Tal is in paradise. I don't have any reason to... Shut up with your whining! Ugh. Don't use death as an escape. Instead, think about how you will atone for your sins. Dying is the ultimate sin for you. Now. It's good to see you, Agni. You. Don't talk. Please listen with insight so that Dad doesn't know I was here. So that he believes I went to paradise. It's best if he thinks I'm just a Taraka pretending to be his daughter, trying to kill you. It's best if I die at his hands. That's the only way my dad and I can be freed from one another. Oh, it's censored. Like, there's a, literally a fucking censor over the stabbing through the chest. I was trying to say things that were so unlike my past self that dad wouldn't notice. So the dad would notice and kill me. But it wasn't working. Still, attacking him was too much. Even for him. I'm glad. Once I disappear, take care of the human who was used to summon me. I didn't use any transcendentals in case it depleted his vigor. It'll be okay, I think. Agni, I'm sorry to place this burden on you. But please, don't give up on my father. And on the best possible future. <laughs> what? What's wrong with him all of a sudden? Hey, are you okay? Oh, my mother is noticed. I'm the only one that can get there right away. To be continued. It seems that Taraka is um, making a move. Response to what's just happened, and the fucking tab's not responding again. Brilliant, as I try and change the episode. Oh well, it is what it is. I'm going to use this opportunity to grab a hoodie because it's a little bit cold, so I'll be back in a few moments. because it's just kind of been sat on the side for a while. Anyway, moving on. It looks like he's in pain. Oh wait, this probably isn't, um... Oh no, probably is either. Good dream tracking help him. Dream tracking! No chance. Who do you think is in his dreams making him suffer? Probably the Nastika. Yes, exactly. And you think dream tracking would work? While the dream owner perceives Nastika to be the strongest race, dream tracking can do nothing. You'd be lucky not to get trapped inside the dream. Can we just leave him like this? What are you so worried about? Rakshasa, who's been alive so long, that insight doesn't work on him. He's probably been hit by a psychological transcendental plenty of times. He'll wake up soon enough. What's more important? Uh, Agni! Actually, this probably is Chandra saying that. Uh, Agni! Season 3, episode 60, Crossroads 8. I'm imagining that the crossroad was... killing or not killing Godhava. But then again, these the titles always have more than one meaning from my own experience of these, and my own inference. 
The experiment failed, then. Uh, we'll just have to hope this one has some information we can use when he wakes up. Did you find out anything? Ah, uh, that thing was a Taraka clan, sir. The Eden Chakantala. Huh? He tried to manipulate Godhava by pretending it was Shakuntala, but it failed in the end. Godhava finished it off himself. He was going berserk just minutes ago. He killed it himself. Godhava won't be swayed by anything to do with Shakuntala now. It's good news for you, since you were worried about his usefulness. What do you mean, good news? Ugh. I don't know why you're suddenly be why you've suddenly been convinced. But you haven't explained the bit that's most important! Yes, I'm, I've left out the most important part. We'll talk about it later. No, I don't know what it is, but tell me now. Not in front of Godhava. What? What can't you say in front of him? What I'm about to bring up definitely needs to be heard by Godhava! The whole city was blocked from using Transcendentals except for Godhava. That's the most serious part of this whole thing. An ordinary Taraka Sura doesn't have the ability to nullify Transcendental selectively. The Taraka clan is stronger now, though if, it was, if it's a particularly strong one, maybe. We only found out recently that they're not affected by the turrets. They could just as well have other abilities we don't know of. Then why did the Taraka related to Godhava appear here of all places? Coincidence? Was it really? Think about it. The probability that the Taraka summoned by the fragment experiment happened to have eaten Chakantala. The probability that it just happened to have the power to nullify Transcendental selectively. Plus, the probability that the first Transcendental Godhava used was a psychological Transcendental, particularly deadly to Shess. And lastly, the probability that Godhava, who, who lost it so completely that he was crying, suddenly came to his senses. Godhava, what did you use, Frozen Tears? If you're caught up, if you're crying because you thought you'd, you'd met your daughter, why didn't you cry when you found out the truth? Huh? Uh, that's... All the previous statements, as said by Chakantala. Why did I... Why did I feel so upset when the Taraka didn't say anything that significant? I can't say it was completely off the mark, but I think it made me cry. Why? And it seemed to know the recent history of my life. How was it able to say those things? Dallas, did the Taraka do something to you? I'd rather die than tell them I cried because of what it said. No way in hell. I don't know. I used a transcendental without realizing. See? It must have been a psychological transcendental. The Taraka mind controlled Godhava, who's a Sura king, weakened or not. An ordinary could an ordinary Taraka do that? I'd say no way. It's even more inexplicable since it was Shock and Tal that did it. Why would she? When did God have to have reached the realization by himself? So why would she control his mind? That would only make it more difficult for him. Did the Taraka say anything important? It said there would be stronger Taraka in the other nodes. That's it? Now it's all coming together. Here. Look, this is what I think, Agni. Our fragment experiment has pretty much failed. All it did was destroy the Temple of Chaos. And we didn't know whether we will continue these experiments. And we don't know whether we'll continue these experiments. Why? Because this might happen again. Because we now know that this is a far more dangerous experiment than we thought. And since apparently there are even stronger Taraka in the other nodes... But, if we give up on the experiment, who does it benefit most? Someone who has gained the most if we stop the experiments. 
who has the power to select which Sura is summoned, who can nullify Transcendental selectively, who has the power of persuasion, able to persuade even a Nastika. Every single one of our doubts and suspicions is pointing at one person. Why are you looking like that? Isn't my theory convincing? But what about Shock and Tala? How much of what how much of it was fake and how much of it was real? Was it acting the whole time? No, that can't be it. She was definitely trying to save Godhama from being killed by Fathomless Flat Fire. In the end, in her last moments, at least, she was a real Shakantala. If she was an imposter, she would have let Godhama die. Kali would definitely. What was that transcendental you used, by the way? The one, like, black smoke. I've never seen it before. Is that something you can use regardless of Taraka eyes as well? Agni, are you listening to me? What now? Isn't that the Garuda clan, Rakshasa? Maruna? It looks like he's having a hard time. Shall I give him a hand? Don't. It's something he has to cope with. Since he's decided to come over to this side, he needs to reach an understanding with the victims of his slaughter. If you keep... If you keep running away, you'll never be able to move forward. Very true. Ugh, damn it! That cloak is worse than the sword! It won't give me time to get away! Yeah, Lee's ain't gonna let you get away. No! Lee's! Well, the Utah. Yeah, that was definitely Utah. Stop! That's not where you should be pointing your sword. Told ya. Crossroads. End. Next episode. The point of your sword. Well, he's back. Jesus. He does not look like he's doing great, does he? Having to have constantly gouged out his own eyes. Ugh. But... It seems like trying to distract um, his mother is pointless now if he's chosen to leave. Why are you here? How? What? You... You said you don't love me. You told me to leave you. You told me to not look back. Why are you making me weaken now after all this time? What? Oh. Okay. What the fuck? Huh? Ah! What the fuck is- Now do I give in to the meme and go, Ooh, this is Kali! Uh oh, 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 this is- this is interesting. This is interesting. What? The humans right on my heels, and then she stopped. There's something wrong with her. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is my chance to run. No. Wait. Why do I want to escape? I was going to eat the god- the gods- Uh, eat- I- how do I read eat? I was going to get the gods permission to use the Eye of Punishment, wasn't I? I can't just run. I want to enter the city. I need to do something about that human. What? What can I do to earn the gods' trust? Oh, fuck. That's strange. For a second I thought I saw a face. What exactly is happening? There's supposed to be plenty of time until the next gate opens. Why? Is there some kind of... <laughs> I think I've gone crazy. Wait, that wasn't the only one. There's more? Season 3, episode 61, The Point of Your Sword, 1. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? This is unusual. 
Those things. They're all heading for that human. I've seen something like this before. Someone that the Taraka clan sees as better prey. If they want the human more than they want me, she must have an important life in the god's eyes. Jandra, over there! Got it. Better to let him take the credit rather than stepping in. Nearly had a heart attack when they came out of nowhere. Yeah. They came from the Lake of Reflection. Right. I'll put something over it, just in case. Locking the gate. The, the, the lake. <coughs> yeah. Looks like he's having... He looks like he's finding it tough. After all the trouble I went to make him the item. He should just come back. At this rate, he would probably make the problem worse. That probably sounds a bit too much like Chandra. Yeah, if he loses it in the human realm right now, there's no one who can subdue him, is there? There's my son. Fathers always overestimate their sons. I, I, there's a lot of people here, and I have no idea what any of them look like, so I have no idea how they sound. Not that you'd know, since you don't have a son. One punch per word, both of you! A race that doesn't feel fear, even at a time like this. Amazing, really. Hey, concentrate. You can't let yourself lose to something like this. If you break, it's the end for Lise. What is going on? <laughs> That's good. The gods have arrived. Oh, it's the other Lee's. It has a collar. A human pet. It's dangerous to stay here. Go back to your owner. I have time. I need to find my mother before it's too late. I know she was watching from somewhere near here. Did she go somewhere else? I wonder, is Cat Lee's going to be instrumental in finding Utah? And finding Kali. <sighs> How long am I going for? 20 minutes. Pog. Yeah, go, 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 go! What? Did you just say? That Sura needs to be kept alive. Yes, it would be a waste to kill him right now. You saw it yourself. He dodged your attacks instead of fighting you, and even rescued you from danger. That's because you're here and he's afraid of the gods! I could have dealt with it myself. If he was only afraid, he could have escaped. But he chose not to and rescued you instead. It means he's willing to cooperate with us as an ally. Whether he's... Whatever he's done up until now, he won't be doing it anymore. Do you know how many humans that monster has killed? Yeah, if we're talking numbers, many of the Nastik you've met in the Sura realm have done worse. Why did you remain silent in front of them? Now you want to punish just this particular Sura? How does that make any sense? You're just angry on a personal level, because he's an enemy of yours. You need to learn to put aside your personal revenge for the sake of the greater good. Personal revenge? Greater good? <laughs> yes, I do hate him. More, yes, I do hate him more because he's my sworn enemy. But I was just as enraged at the Nastika who killed me countless times for my insolence. How much do you know about my past? That you would jump to such an easy conclusion? Another page. There we are. What the fuck? Okay, PC. Bit strange. Thanks for that. Make sure that nothing's gone wrong with OBS and me doing that. Yep, okay, good. OBS is still working fine. Ugh. She had conflicts with the Nistika. From what I had read with the inside so far, she seemed like she'd lived an ordinary life. 
This is tricky. Like a maze. I can't see things properly with her. Oi, Agni. Come and talk to this human. It pisses me off to just to have to look at her. Can't you hear me? Agni! Come over here! Leave that lake alone. I've already covered it up. This lake... Didn't it have no bottom? Someone who falls into the lake falls all the way down to the city. Is it really enough to cover the top? Ah! Yeah, if it's... the something at the... down there. Season 3, episode 62. The point of your sword? Two. I mean, it makes sense that the Taraka could come out of the Lake of Reflection. Because it is connected to Kali being, you know, a chaos-oriented location. However, whether they were coming out of it from the Sewer Realm or they'd been lying in there for God knows how long is a different question. And what really is at the bottom of that lake is a very, very different question. Oh, who the fuck is... What? Oh, this is one of the ships. I thought that was actually a Sura, but no, it's one of the um, airships they have. We will be arriving at our final destination, Calabloom. All passengers, please. Who's speaking here? Oh my god, is that actually me, huh? Oh my fucking god. They didn't get on an Eloth. No, I checked several times, but Miss Lutz and Miss T Mr. Lutz and Miss Tilda weren't on the list of passengers that boarded a tea loaf. It can't be. They're meant to be heading to Calabloom like I am. So why? Ah, I should ch should have checked when we stopped at Eloth. I fell asleep without thinking. I'm sorry I didn't wake you, Miss Mia. No, don't worry. It's not like I asked you to. Yo, you're looking good. Strange, if they're not on the ship, they won't be able to get there by the date charm special specified. Did something happen while I was on the ship? Who's that? Um, and why am I worried about who it is? Okay, no, never mind. Thank fuck. Yeah, I saw the, the fur coat and was like... No, but it wouldn't make sense for Mirha to be around. That individual, obviously. Mirha, are you finally up? Ah, Roosh, what are you doing here? You already know, don't you? I'm going to Calibum for the same reason you are. The same reason? Ah, that's right. You were running his errand too. You must have received the same instructions. I forgot for a second. You're not that noticeable next to the other two. What? Not that noticeable? I'm the killed president! Me? Why aren't the other two on board? You mean Lutz and Tilda? Ah, uh, something about it being dangerous if they go to Calabloom because they have high transcendental values. Transcendental values? What do they... Hmm? What? What are those things around the city? Everyone, take shelter in nearest brand creation. Uh, your nearest creation brand building. Creation brand labs and warehouses of high defensive capabilities. Mom, we have to go to the temple of Sura up here. We did that the other day, but here the temples are too high up. We did that the other in the other city, but here the temples are too high up, honey. Damn it. What exactly is happening today? First the chaos barrier disappears, then all my magic and transcendental stop working. Now there's sewer inside the city? Ah, Mr. Ron! Magic seems to be working now! Really? Please, use Honey Kubera to get to safety. If you get hurt while you're at our branch, we'll be in trouble! Warehouse 1 is full. Please head over to Warehouse 2. Please, go- Don't- Don't go fighting the sewer. Get the people- Get the people to safety. Well, people living in the lower level. Ah, creation brand- Creation brand- <coughs> Bruma's headquarters is there. They'll take care of it. Ah, uh, now that my magic is working, this works too. Let's do a sweep before we go. The Sura reach the lower parts. There'll be more casualties. 
The neural bow is insanely good, like strong. Like, look at that shit. I know it's a god, it's a, one of Vayu's items, but still. Like, that's absolute insanity. Look at that. Wow, it's almost as good as the Staff of Agni. Mr. Lutz must have fully managed to modify it. Huh? The problem is that the part used to modify it doesn't last long. My brother will have to fix it before I can use it again. I'll help the people in the lower parts evacuate. But a few people go with me, in case there are halves. Ah, that's good. Looks like Ryan used the Neurobo before they did any real damage. Guess he was awake. It looks like there are only a few hundred left. I can take care of them on my own. Go back to Lee's. Ah. Go let her... Go let her free. If you're going to be the- if you're going to mediate between them, use words, not force. I don't know what Agni is thinking yet, but it looks like God Chandra trusts me, at least. He left me, Asura, completely free. And tied up- and tied you up- tied you up instead, human. Yeah. In the comments of my last video, um, it's- it, uh, my last Kubera video, the discussion on Wednesday about the best possible future and Vishnu and Kali. One of you mentioned that it seems like Chandra, you know, might not be a piece of shit, but his methods of handling situations um, definitely don't present him in a good light. Because all this is going to do is make Lee's more jaded. And more biased against what you're trying to present if she is the one that has to be restrained as a human as opposed to a Sura that has murdered countless people. Like, yeah. Chandra still doesn't get human beings, it seems, even after all this time. A human who wants revenge on me. That sword. She reminds me of someone. I can't possibly be the same person. Humans shift in appearance quickly, so she may look different now. But, what, but that human back then was calm enough to taunt me. And this one is so enraged that she can't say a word. Unless she degenerated mentally since then. It can't be the same person. The more you use the power of the sword, the deeper your sins become. Will she say nothing, even if I get even if I go this close? Oh no. About her strength. She definitely feels different. That look in her eye. Remind you of anyone? Or is it just me? I'm fairly certain it's not the same human. Hey! What are you doing? I didn't do anything. Don't go near her. Stay back. And you. I'm gonna set you free since Agni wants me to. But don't do anything stupid. Seriously. If you care about Utah, as you said during the meeting, you should let yourself be blind. You shouldn't let yourself be blinded by vengeance like this. Utah. What does Utah have to do with taking revenge on this Sura? What harm will it do if to Utah if this one dies? There's still plenty of Nestika in the Sura realm. Th this one can't hope to match. Whether he lives or dies will have no effect on that on the situation. If one Rakshasa is going to make the difference, then this Tika would have solved the problem already. Just one Rakshasa. Now I know. You may be hiding your thoughts. The moment I mentioned Utah, it must have come to mind. But she's thinking of nothing nothing of the kind. I thought she would have I thought she would know for sure. She spent seven years in the Sura realm. How does she still not know that Utah and Maruna are brothers? Season three, episode sixty three The so the point of your sword. Evacuate to Brimo headquarters! Quickly! Hey, aren't you Lee's friend? You're a priest candidate. Why are you here? Uh, I don't want to be up there right now. 
So, I asked Jess to bring me here. Sure, but evacuate. Then just stand there watching. Wait, uh, over there. There you are, Lise. I'm so glad. What? He named his pet Lise? That might be awkward if Lise finds out. Anyway, let's go. Come on. Those flames. It's uh, it's got Agni, right? It's fortunate that he happened to be in the city. Doesn't it look like they'll all be killed soon enough. As long as this the ship can last until then. Ha! <laughs> of course it will. My sister's company made this ship. I think God Ag needs to occupy with the city to take care of us. Roosh, help me out. Hmm? Thanks, Roosh. <laughs> what is this? I followed you out because you asked, but don't talk. Don't talk. Please make sure we don't collide with the Syrah. I need to concentrate on attacking. <laughs> Good. One of Agni's flames is nearby. Bavadi Vayu. Hmm? Controlling my flames. As one smart human. I should compliment her later. Planet Conchas. We've switched fucking planet. Oh, users on this planet. Checkpoint one. A fallen planet. Barrier stones have stopped working long ago. Once upon a time, the largest temple of chaos was here. And an entrance connected to all the water channels of the universe. What? An entrance connected to all the water channels of the universe. Kind of implies that all the water channels are connected somehow. And I mean, that would make sense, given, you know, what happened during the Water Channel earlier in Season 1. Was it Season 2? I, I, it's actually been so long. Season 1 and 2 are blurring together in my brain. <laughs> uh. If Mother has made a move, I should have used this entrance. I remember this door being here. If I break it now, I know something will happen. Should I, go, should I go back and ask the guards what to do? Hmm? Oh. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Since Yuta, since she was pro so worried about Yuta, she'll probably give up on her revenge when she finds out they're brothers. The problem is, he doesn't know, even though they spent the last seven years in the Sira realm. The Zoranda must have kept the truth from her. And there must have been a reason for it. The Rock Chasse is Garuda's son. And the Garuda clan is on the verge of extinction. He needs to survive so the rest of the clan can rally around him. Why should I concern myself with the Garuda clan's circumstances? That Sira has killed countless humans with his Red Sky attacks. And yet, look how shameless he is. He has no idea what he did was wrong. Look at him. Do you think he understands even a little of what I feel now? And you want me to understand his situation? Do you really think that's going to convince me? Yes, what would a human who lives the most fleeting of lives know about the greater cause of the universe? There may, there may be known unknown risks to telling her that that Sir is Yuta's brother. So I'll tie her up again while I do some thinking. You won't get away with the same skill twice, Chandra. You only success succeeded the first time because I had my guard down. You see, I never imagined that a guard would try to tie me up. That's, that ability wasn't visible through insight. How much more is this human hiding? And now you're trying it again. Seriously. What are humans in the eyes of gods? My faith has waned in the last seven years. But this god goes beyond what I imagined. A god personally protecting Asura for such ridiculous reasons? What is that, Rakshasa? That you would... Why protect 
That piece of shit. Use your transcendentals with caution. The more you use the power of the sword, the deeper your sin becomes. Do not forget what they want is to cast down your name. Season 3, episode 64, The Point of Your Sword. Cast down your name, huh? To cast down my name. Yes, something's wrong. I think I've seen cracks appear in the, my bracelet recently. You've used the Sword of Return for years, and the sins have built up to their limit. Which is why that brace, the bracelet which takes on the weight of your sins has begun to break now. Is it okay since it mends itself immediately? It won't keep doing that. That bracelet doesn't have long to go. Really? Oh well. I'll have to use Transcendentals less often. I don't want to destroy it and harm the owner of the bracelet. Don't worry about the owner, Lise. You must worry about yourself. What are you talking about, Yuda? If I was worried about myself, I never would have come this far. That's fortunate, since I don't have the bracelet. The weight of, of sins will be mine to bear. And if something goes wrong, it goes wrong for me. Get out as far away as possible, and don't try to attack her. The speed without magic. Damn it! I am supposed to evade this. Give orders that make sense, would you? To get to, uh, it's better to face this using tr transcendental. No. Don't! If you attack now! Yep. You'll make everyone aware. Didn't something go flash up there? You talk a lot, you know. Come on, go inside. What is that? Why is my transcendental? I was holding it in because of my vigor. Nice of you to provide the energy. Wake up! That sword is controlling you. I didn't tell you because I thought there was a reason. But if you do this, you'll regret it. That Sura is Yuta's brother. Is Yuta's brother? You stopped me to tell me that? Piece of scum. Get your dirty hands off of me. Before I rip you into 40,000 pieces. Yeah, the the expression on her face reminds me of someone. Uh. Good god, man. We'll do one more, and that'll be it for this video. I don't think she's joking about I think she would and probably could. That number. I wonder. If one universe becomes 40,000 new universes when it is ripped apart, Chandra, would you stand by and do nothing while the universe is annihilated? Yes, what else? You lose one and gain 40,000. But it means the demise of everything which existed in the original universe. That's insignificant. If we're getting 40,000 new universes. Would you say that if thing if I said I would rip you apart to create 40,000 new beings? We're talking about universes. We're talking about universes. Why me all of a sudden? The universe may not be what you imagine. You could be a part of it. Or, it could become part of you. That's a paradox. This is something you used to know. You were the first... Aztica to realize this. Aztica, hmm. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder, is, is that... A typesetting error? Am I supposed to say Nastika? Or is this a different term altogether? Because if it is Nastika, that opens up a whole fucking can of worms. 
You were the first Azteca to reach this, to realize this, to reach enlightenment. How unfortunate that you left something so important at the top. It was a well-informed intention system, but I see now it was a mistake. If you use the power of oblivion to ease your suffering, none of you will ever become true gods. Season 3, Episode 65, The Point of Your Sword, 5. Oi, Chandra! Look where you're going. Rip me into 40,000 pieces. What? That human! There's something different about- there was something different about her just now. That human. You mean Lee's? Yes. There's definitely- Huh? When did he- Why are you asking me when you were right there? I came back after killing all the sir in the city and found Yuta standing before between them. What did you do? Why did you let things get so out of hand? Let go, Yuta. That monster is my sworn enemy. He killed all the people in my village. He won't do anything like that again. Right now, he doesn't even know what he did wrong. He'll realize one day, and he'll apologize. How do you know? Can you see the future? I can't believe in something so vague. I've seen too many Nestika in the Sura realm. We're beyond redemption. Is that Akasha there? That might be Akasha. And I know that even if they live for billions of years, their ways never change. They can't even be reformed unless their innate nature is good. Something this Tika that find it difficult to change. Rakshasa are different. They can be reformed. Please, look at me. I am one such Rakshasa. And did you slaughter as many humans as he did? No, but... Then get out of my way, Yuta! You're nothing like him! You're completely different. He... He has to be killed. You don't need to throw away... Throw yourself away for it. For the likes of vengeance. Yeah, it seems like there's been there's a couple times setting errors. I think that might have been this teacup up there. And if that is what that meant to say... That really changes what the gods are, doesn't it? Please, Lise. Stop using the power of the sword. Don't make your sins any heavier. I don't want you to disappear. If you want it or not... I'm going to disappear. I don't have a long life to live. But my time's up, that's it. I have to have my revenge before then, at least. Why else have I come this far? I need to kill him. And then... He's my brother. If you can't give up on your revenge for yourself, you do it for my sake. It's no use, Lee. He's already knew that. She knows she was going to kill him. Is your brother? Really? Why? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Uh, what? What the hell? Why is she acting? She... It's easy to recognize a human who is lying, Chandra. Lise isn't acting. She's telling the truth. But earlier she said... Hey, Maruna, you heard her too. What do you mean? I told her that you you and Yuta were brothers, and she... I heard you say that Sura is Yuta's. But that's it. Neither of you said anything more, and the human shook you off and attacked me. Looks like you were hearing things. No one else heard that. No, it can't be a coincidence. The number 40,000. Anyway, the emergency is over. So let's tidy up the situation. We need to decide how we'll treat God Hava and Maruna in front of the humans in the city. Uh, 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 yawning. I'm concerned about Chess and Sierra. Also. Yuta, you were hiding behind the hill earlier, then you disappeared. Where did you go? I can see this isn't your real body. It's a double that you've created with the help of an item. I went to Planet Conscious. 
in these circumstances? The last temple with tr the traces of Kali. It's the only clue we have if we're going to find the solution to this situation. I can't get inside alone. Okay, we'll talk about the, pro the appropriate candidates for each attribute at the, at the meeting later. Now, about Lee's. Why did you hide the truth from her? It only deepened her sense of betrayal. It would have been better to tell her earlier. I told her. Seven years ago. And over and over. Countless times since then. Every time, she forgets. Not long after. It grieves her to have to kill my brother. But she can't give up on her revenge either. So she fools herself into believing that she was never told. And that explains... So yeah. What? So... Right, okay. Right. So she, obviously she definitely, she definitely said what she said to Chandra, but no one else heard it. Why? How? <sighs> Lee said that. Well, it came out of Lee's mouth. I'm imagining Lee said that. Well, it was Kylie. No. Um, but given what Chandra said about the sword controlling her, I'm wondering if it was influenced by the sword, which is connected to Kali. So it might not have been Kali directly, but it could have been Kali's influence. But again, like Chandra said, the number 40,000 is incredibly specific. It's incredibly particular given what. Presumably that was Vishnu at that tree said. So given that, what the fuck does Lee subconsciously know? Or what has she been told or influenced to know? Right? And also, yeah, uh, Lee's is much more mentally broken than we and I had realized. Oh my fucking god. Deluding yourself to that extent is not normal. Good god. Um, well. We'll see how things go. Chapter 43. The point of your sword. And next time. The meaning of revenge. It's very convenient that I did one more, isn't it? It came right at the end of that arc. Also, I'm very much wondering what's in that temple. And why you need one person, you know, corresponding to each attribute to get in. I wonder what's behind that door that Yuta didn't recognize, first of all. Anyway, with that out of the way, I've been Animosity. You have most certainly been you, and I've been watching time for another video. Atata. Bye now.